What is going on you guys? How are y'all doing? Hopefully you guys are doing well and today is actually a very special video because I'm actually doing two videos but one of them is going to be released in uh, another time later in the future but today I'm actually doing a video with a 911 Porsche GT3. I actually have the owner here to talk about his car before we get in and do a little bit of a ride and pull reaction. So uh, this is the owner, Craig. And up, uh, Craig, talk about your car. Uh, how uh, long have you had it? What's done well, to it and everything? It's a, it's a 2015 911 GT3 991.1. It's a... It's heavily driven. 9,000 miles ago, Porsche replaced the motor for me, so it's got the new upgraded motor. Sweet. Uh, only thing otherwise is it's got a center muffler delete, GMG, and then it's got the uh, BBS wheels, and uh, I love the way it looks and love the color, and I absolutely love driving this thing. I drive it way too much, but <laughs> it puts a smile on my face every single time, and I can't complain. Now, so. we were talking off camera before I was filming, and Corey asked you how many miles you put on it and just like, the two months or how, however long you've owned it. Tell them yeah, how long, how so, many miles you put on uh, it. In April, they uh, they put a new uh, motor in it. Since April, I've put 9,000 miles on it. <laughs> I uh, It's got a, yeah, I've already done the 10,000 mile service on this motor and it's been six months and I drive it. This car is not, uh, this is one, this is a pretty high mileage car. It's a, uh, it's got 56,000 on the odometer now and 9,000 on the new motor. So I also heard you say that it has uh, the upgraded motor. Is there something different about this motor that has in it versus the one that it came with? Yeah, so I guess the 2014 and 15 GT3s had an engine issue that owners were finding. Like they had catastrophic failures in the motor. So Porsche was, they put a 10,000 or 100,000 mile 10 year warranty on these things. And they, if the engine failed, they would replace it. and. On April, mine uh, went into a shop. I had actually had a friend driving it, and the check engine light came on. They took it home. I took it to the dealership, and the dealership called me, and they're like, "Hey, good news! Technician says the uh, the lower lever arms on banks four, five, and six had been worn down and wow. failed, so you get a new motor. A new motor on this car is ninety-two thousand. Jeez, so I was just gonna ask warranty. what the price was. That's under that's warranty. In, that's that's just the engine, not even labor. So with labor and everything, it's one hundred and fifteen to replace this motor." Damn, that's uh, insane. So well, yeah. yeah, the color is absolutely crazy. What's the color called? On Blue these? Sapphire. Blue Sapphire. I've okay. seen uh, two other, and uh, this is a popular color on the, the Macan. The Macan, you see a lot of Macans in this color. Okay. There's a couple other guys around the country I know who have this car in this color. One's out in Houston, one's down in LA. And if you guys don't know who uh, Craig is, I think his Instagram, it's the Hawk <laughs> GT3, right? GT3, Hawk GT3. That's me. Uh, so I'll put the screenshot in for the vlog for you guys so you guys can go check him out So I think the only thing now is to hop in and go for a ride. So you ready to let her rip? Let's do it. All right Jeez. Give us a little juice Craig ask you something so what made you want to get the uh, regular gt3 instead of a gt3 rs was it financials uh no it was actually uh to be honest with you i wanted a 458 ferrari nice and i test drove one uh dnc was cool enough to let me take a 458 for a spin and i drove it and i was talking to the sales guy about what i was after and he's like you should get a you should drive a gt3 and i was like man everybody's got a gt3 drove the GT3, I made it a mile down the road, and I came back as like, thanks for saving me 80 grand, I want a GT3. <laughs> um, I almost bought an orange RS from Beaverton Porsche. Nice. Uh, but uh, that fell through, and so then I decided that since I don't track my car, the best thing would be to just get a GT3. And right. I found this beauty sitting down in Monterey, and it was a kind of a high mileage for a GT3. It had like 27, 28,000 miles on it when mm -hmm. I got it, but been a champ for me and with Porsche replacing the motor it's like I got a brand new car in April that's awesome complain. now all my audience that watches my videos they know that my dream car is an Audi R8 and uh, I always say in my videos whenever I see these cars the GT3s I would take one of these over an R8 any day what is your would you do you think that would be a good choice that if I got uh, offered a, a GT3 over an R8 or would you still yes, go for yes yes I don't okay. want to get rid of this I don't and uh, honestly, like, I want a Ferrari still. I want an Aston Martin. I used to have one of those. I want a McLaren, but I can't justify getting rid of this car. This car's just That's too so good. That's so sick. 
Yeah. Now, how does it uh, feel when you drive it? Does it like feel like it handles really well? And it handles great. That's awesome. And, uh, to prove it, we'll put you in the driver's seat a little bit, so you can drive it and you can tell everybody how it feels. Whoa. Okay. That was not expecting that. That's crazy. This Tesla's thinking that we were gonna have fun with him. He just took off. <laughs> Good thing you told me. All right, so we're gonna hit a little pole right here. So, ready? Yep. Porsche's sound. That's one of the other reasons why I would take one of these cars over an R8 any day. It's just the German engineering. I mean, I guess Audi's German as well, but just these cars are built way differently than an Audi is. And like Craig said, that if I ever got the opportunity to get one of these over an R8, I would hands down do it just because of how wonderful they sound. Now, what kind of exhaust do you did you say you had on this? I just have a GMG center delete. Okay. That's all I got. So the center muffler's been deleted. Man, I'm really throwing up rocks. <laughs> I can hear that. I don't know if you guys can hear that in the video, but you can hear the rocks hitting the undercarriage. It's really dis discerning, dis disconcerning how loud that is. Right <laughs> well, and we were like in between walls as well, so it was bouncing off the walls yeah. as well, which that's kind of cool. All right, this is crazy. All oh, the shifts are instant. That is so yeah. cool. Wow. So one thing I'm noticing is the steering is go just right. go right. Yeah. The steering is just like really crisp and like on point. That is so cool. Looks like they're good. Yep. Yeah. All right, do we're, it. Gonna, we're gonna give it some, uh, give it some juice. Actually, let me get in the other lane real quick. All right. back around and uh, we're gonna head back that way and then go head back towards Corey's but uh, not sure what's gonna happen between now and then hopefully nothing bad because I would feel so horrible <laughs> if something bad happened but uh, yeah this is just crazy I could actually honestly say that since this is one of my other dream cars that I would love to have over an R8 I can officially say I drove my dream car today this is crazy there we go. We're gonna get on it one more time before we get back to Corey's. Gotta love that. That was a, I think a first gear pull. Yeah, that was a first gear pull. That was crazy. Man, and I was just telling Craig too, that the way it feels when you get on it is uh, it's just planted like it stays planted it is so cool like I know 
for some people that have higher end power cars that are real wheel drive, they like to get squirmy a little bit and they like to kick out the back end. Well, this car, I mean, obviously I haven't ever driven another car with higher end power, but this car is just planted and it does not want to go anywhere. So, obviously I've had my nicer cars. I had my Infinity that you guys remember. I actually have never really put on camera because I, that was before I started doing YouTube, but obviously you guys know about my Genesis, but what I was gonna say is, when I had those nicer cars, those obviously felt faster than any of the other cars I had before, but now driving this, those cars don't feel like compared to this. But, wow, that, that really makes me think that I need to up my game and get a better car than what I was driving before. So, that's just insane how much power this has and how quick it puts you back in your seat. Now, I know I've always asked the drivers and owners of the car what it feels like when they are driving it and they do the pull like that, how it feels when you get put back in your seat. Now I actually get to experience that and tell you guys that that was, it's an insane feeling. It feels like a roller coaster, but it's just so cool. All right, you guys, well, that does it for the video. That was one hell of an experience. That is crazy. Um, like I was telling, Craig, I can officially say that I've driven my dream car because I would take one of these over an R8 any day because I absolutely love these cars. Now actually experiencing it firsthand and getting to drive it, having that opportunity, that's just on another level. I'm still, I still have goosebumps as you guys can see from driving it. That was one hell of an experience. So Craig, I'm going to get you in this outro as well. Thank yeah. you very much. I appreciate yeah. it. I'm glad guys, you got to enjoy and experience it. Definitely, guys. Again, go check out Craig on Instagram at hawk.gt3. Just hawk.gt3. Oh, uh, hawk.gt3. Okay, so see, good thing I, uh, good thing you corrected me. So, uh, yeah, you guys, if you uh, want want to see more future videos, be sure to click the subscribe button. Don't forget to leave a like, and I will catch you guys in the next video. So, peace.